Imagine updating your ESP32 without plugging it in. No cables, no hassle. Today I'll show you two ways to update the firmware wirelessly using over-the-air updates or OTA. The first method is using Arduino OTA. Using this method, you can upload code directly from the Arduino IDE over Wi-Fi. Once set up, it feels almost the same as a normal USB upload. We do this using the library Arduino OTA, which has all the functions we need to manage the process. Select your board, then go to File, Examples, Arduino OTA, and select Basic OTA. The sketch includes everything needed to set up a basic OTA-enabled program. Enter your Wi-Fi credentials here. In Setup, we connect to Wi-Fi first. And then set up the OTA options. You can change the port and host names if you want, but I'm leaving them on default. And you can set up a password for the OTA process, I recommend setting one and set the callback functions for the OTA process. The code inside the on start block will execute when the update is started, and the on end executes when the update ends. And the on progress block updates the progress of the update, and this block prints errors if there are any. And in the loop, we call Arduino OTA.handle, which checks for incoming OTA requests. You can add all your code below this. Let's add an LED blink routine. And upload the code. You still need to plug in the USB the very first time, just to flash the OTA-enabled sketch. As you can see, the LED is blinking and the OTA code is running quietly in the background. Let's remove the ESP32 from the computer and power it with a battery. And now, if you open the device dropdown, it should have the ESP32 listed as a wireless port. Now you can select that network port and upload the sketch just like if it was connected with a USB cable. If it doesn't show up here, you might need to restart your IDE once. Let me change the speed of the LED blink. Also, to keep the OTA enabled after the update, you need to include the OTA library in all the updates. Upload the new update wirelessly. Here, you can see the new code running immediately after the OTA update. This method is easy, but it is not very secure. Any device on the same Wi-Fi network can access your board and even upload code to it, and also can hack and get your Wi-Fi credentials. So let's look at the alternative. The second method is using a web server hosted by the ESP32 itself. It gives you a simple web page to upload new firmware. Just connect to the ESP32 OTA network. Then you can flash any bin files to your board. You don't need to store your Wi-Fi credentials. We will be using the library ESP2S OTA. Install it from the library manager and open the AP mode example from the library. You can change the default name and password of the Wi Fi network if you'd like. You can also change the IP address. In the loop, leave this statement as it is. Then add a simple blink code for the onboard LED. Then upload this code. Once done, the ESP32 will become a Wi-Fi access point that you can connect to. Connect your computer to the ESP32 OTA Wi-Fi network. and open the browser and open the IP address slash update. In this page, you can select a bin file and flash it. Select your bin file and click on update, and the ESP32 will update and reboot. I'll show you how to make the bin file. 
Let's make some changes to the code. Make the LED blink faster. Then, make sure you have selected the correct board. That's very important. And keep in mind that you need to include the OTA code in all updates, otherwise you won't be able to update the next time. Now, to generate a bin file from your sketch, go to Sketch, Export Compiled Binary. If there are no compile errors, the bin file will be created in the Sketch folder. Go to Sketch, Show Sketch Folder. You should have multiple files in your sketch folder. The one we need is a .bin file that does not say anything other than the sketch name. So the first one here. Go to the web server, select this bin file and upload it. Now the LED is blinking faster. These are my two favorite methods to update my ESP32 projects wirelessly. Let me know in the comments if you also update your projects through OTA.